Hello, Dream Team. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, beautiful people, Dream Team, you know what it is. Welcome to another exciting installment of Here's a Thought with the Max. As you can see, I'm not rolling with my beautiful, gorgeous, really amazing wife. Today, I am hanging out with my beautiful, gorgeous, amazing baby girl. This is Lehakwe, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Lehakwe Mareta. <laughs> you know what it is, an entire nine-year-old. Guys, do you understand? I can't believe how big you are. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, so excited to be here today, hanging out with you guys. Uh, what I'm supposed to be doing is I'm supposed to have my phone on me because I'm going to ask her a couple of questions, but I'm going to get it just now. Let me tell you why we want to do this. So um, I was reading an article about uh, checking in on your baby girls, right? So it's uh, so I've got a couple of questions that I got from a website just to say, okay, these are the questions that you should ask your baby girl, like just to check in on them. And these are the questions that really mean something to them just for you guys to connect. And you know, we're all about connection. So you ready to get into it? Let's get into it. All right. All right, cool. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Very yeah? good. Yeah. Cool. Good, I good, really good. enjoyed that 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 Q and A that you had with Mama. Yeah. That was really cool. And yeah. I was like, even me, guys, I want to be put on. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Uh, let's see how this goes. Okay. Question number one: Who is your all-time hero? Oh, that's a good one. I like that. Who is your uh, all-time hero? Okay. Have you ever thought about it? No, actually. Okay. Cool. So think about it now. So uh, it's both you and Mama. Yeah. Oh well, it doesn't yeah. have to be either either of your parents. By the yeah, way. Yeah, I know. Okay, so is. so your parents. That's dope. Yeah. Why? Because like you guys were like also the people who were like there for me when I was like like born like and also like you guys like put a roof over my head and stuff. You and better recognize food. we put a guys I joke <laughs> with my kids and I go, Y'all need to go and get a job. All right. Can't be living rent free here. <laughs> In my house. <laughs> yeah, and I guess like I don't know where I would be without you guys. Ah, uh, that's dope, Hakwe. Love you, girl. All right. What is your most prized possession? Do you know what that means? Yeah. Yeah. What is your most prized possession? Rua. Yeah. So Lerua is her sister. That is the best answer guys listen after my wife goes for mrs sauda this one is going for miss south africa because oh my gosh really that is really precious yeah i love because like since she's my younger sister i have to take care of her yeah like she's my number one priority Sorry, I'm going to obviously be smiling like an idiot throughout this whole thing <laughs> because I'm so proud of you. What is your favorite meal? Oh my gosh, this is so hard because I'm such a picky eater. You are a picky eater and it keeps changing. So, <laughs> Okay, what are your favorite three meals? Okay, that makes it easier. Okay, then. cool. <laughs> okay, um... Number one would be Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna say I don't have a favorite meal. What meals do you like? Okay, so I like like simple sushis like maki sushis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like McDonald's and KFC. The um, nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Um with a McFizz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And thirdly? And I like... Like... 
mama's home cooked meals. Hey, when? Yeah. I'm gonna tell her you said that she's gonna be so proud. Because <laughs> <laughs> mama doesn't like cooking, she hates it. She loves cooking for us, though. Yeah. But she doesn't generally in life like cooking. Yeah. All right. Um, who's your best friend? Zizi. So that's interesting. So you you know what I found interesting, ne? So um uh so Lhakwe had this best friend, has this best friend, I don't know, from school. Has has this best friend from school, Didi, and then she's got a cousin of hers who's a best friend. And I remember there was like a little bit of an inner conflict at least what I saw as an inner conflict with yourself to be like, no, but you're my best friend, but you're my best friend. So I think you're very much like me in this regard, right? So I had a best friend in my hood that I grew up with. I had a best friend cousin, which was Fifi. I had a best friend at school, which was Thomas. I had, so does that make sense? So like I had, so I was never part of like a, a crew, like a clique, right? So I just want to say to you, like, it's it's okay yeah. to have best friends in mm. different pockets yeah. of your life. You know what I mean? Because I saw you, I was just like, I don't know, this was my best friend. That was my best friend. <laughs> you know, and I was like, yeah. no, you're you're allowed to have different BFFs, yeah. right? In different pockets of your life. Yeah, so then, yeah, I think both of them. Right? Yeah. Because Yeezy has been, like, cousin for, like, obviously forever. Forever, yeah, yeah. And she's, like... We get along very well. For sure. And Didi, she's been my friend. Since for, you were three. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we've been friends for a while. So. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, what would you like to do when you grow up? This one is obvious. I want to be a singer and an actress. So this is interesting. You want to be a singer and an actress. Do you know why? So let me yeah. ask the question more directly. Yeah. Do you think that me being a musician and an actor, um, do you think it influenced that decision in any way? Or do you, f and, and so you live with me and you kind of see what it entails and whatever. Um, has that encouraged you to, to say, yeah, actually that's what I want to pursue? Yes. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, and also like, I used to want to be a doctor. Mm. But then... I don't really like like stuff with like blood and all of that stuff. Or, yeah, like, there's a clue. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then I realized that like I watch like a lot of TV and like a lot of YouTube and stuff, and I've watched a couple like shows on Netflix and stuff, and I'm like, acting looks like very nice. Yeah. And I know that it's very hard work because also, like, especially for children actors, because they have to do school mm. while acting yeah. on set all day sure. and stuff. I'm sure it's hard. Yeah. But I still want to do it. And I'm good at memorizing things. Like, yeah. Yeah. And a singer, I've always wanted to be one since I was very young. So, I, I wanted to be a rapper, but then I realized that I'm not very good at it. So, and I realized I'm better at singing. So, well, you're an amazing yeah. singer. You're an incredible actor, and if you want to be a rapper, you can. Yeah, I know that. You absolutely can. Because I can obviously like change my mind when I'm older. You can change your mind now as well. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. You, so, so, so my daughter raps like all my songs. I just have to like <laughs> sing them like thrice and she knows the whole thing, like from beginning to end while I'm writing. So, yeah. You could definitely be a rapper. If that's what you want to do, yeah. do it. And I am. All right. Um, what do you most like to do with me? That's an interesting one. Okay. There's a lot. Um, I think it's like when, so the first reason, the first one, I think it's when like we're just sitting mm -hmm. and we're just talking. Sure. I think that's really fun. Mm -hmm. Or like when you make lots of jokes while we're just having a random conversation. Yeah. 
um, or like other things like when you were teaching me how to ride a bike, mm. like, yeah, that was really fun. Mm. There's a lot of things, I can't name them all, but yeah. I think the latest thing is we play cards. Oh yeah, that yeah. one too. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That. I enjoy that. Yeah, same. I enjoy that. All right, what causes you to lose sleep? I really like this question because I do not know what the answer is. Yeah, because you don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I don't sleep. I do sleep. I do sleep. Yeah, you sleep. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm doing my best. Yeah. What causes you to lose sleep? What keeps you up at night? I, like, if it's on, like, the night of, like, the next day, something, like, exciting is going to happen. Yeah. Then it's going to keep me up and I struggle to sleep. Then my tummy just gets sore for no reason. Really? Yeah, yeah like it bugs me. And I'm like, oh my God. And it happens only on the days I'm excited. And sometimes I'm just excited for the next day. Like I just imagine like a random thing that I'm going to be excited about. And I'm like, what's even happening today? Nothing's happening. And then I'm like, like, and then I wasted like, all my time yesterday thinking about this exciting thing that's happening but yeah sometimes I think that, that happens I think that's brilliant so I'll <laughs> tell you why I think I think that people should always be expectant for something really amazing to happen like at any time of any day so just the idea that you can go to bed excited about tomorrow says a lot about about your expectations you know what I mean like you know, going into your day like something amazing and really cool could possibly happen today and just being excited at the idea of it, I think is amazing, personally. Yeah, so. and another re thing that keeps me up is like, let's say I got something or like I did something, I'm really excited to tell my friends the next thing at school. For sure. Or like I, th I found a joke. Like when I was watching YouTube, there was a joke or like something yeah. like that. Because me and my friends talk a lot about YouTube. It's weird. So that's <laughs> interesting. So I want to ask you a question. Do, do you ever lose sleep um, from something that happened? Because yes. right now you're talking about things that, you know, you're thinking about tomorrow. But do you ever lose sleep over like thinking about something yes. that happened? Like how I could have said things better in conversations. Okay. Yeah, like I should have said that actually. Or like I should have said that. Or like, yeah. It keeps me up because it bothers me. Like I just want to re like go back in time and say it because like, but it only happens when like it's conversations where I'm fighting with someone because the conversation was just a conversation. It's just a conversation. But like if I'm like mad and I'm like. Do, okay, so this is interesting. When you're mad, do you are, are you the kind of person that speaks up for themselves? Or do you find yourself just kind of not saying things and then you're like, oh, I wish I said that? Most of the time, I do. But then since like, I just like, I, before I say something, I just think about how it's going to end. Yeah. Because then I'm like, That's a good they thing. might think that I'm being rude. Yeah. So sometimes I just don't say it. And then late on the day, then I think of another thing that I said, which they wouldn't have taken very, yeah. But okay. Yeah. Okay. But, but do you generally feel like you're comfortable enough with yourself to speak your mind? What? Do you <laughs> generally feel like you you can speak your mind, you know? Like, you can say what is on your mind. Yeah. That's dope. I wish I was like that when I was younger. I, I, I found it difficult to, to say what I mean and mean what I say because I, I used to overly worry about, like, what people were going to think. And now I've got no... I do have a filter, but now I'm just like... Yeah, because I spent all those years like mm -hmm. not expressing myself. Now I'm like, now I'm going to tell but, you. But like, honestly, to be like completely honest, mm. like sometimes I do say what I say. Mm. It just depends to the person I'm talking to. Sure. 
because like there's different people and like one time I've said like something then it went wrong and then like I know not to say something like that again for sure right and like sometimes I'm just not honest like honest honest people like I'm just like how am I gonna say this it's gonna sound rude if I so do you think you, you you sometimes don't say things to protect them or do you think you don't say them to protect yourself both both okay yeah cool. that's fair that's fair all right what were your greatest achievements and disappointments in the last year last year or like this in the past 12 months or just say or this year okay this year um, what would you say were your greatest achievements i don't remember anything and from gr- 2021 <laughs> I <don't> yeah <laughs> so this year what would you say were your greatest achievements and your greatest um disappointments um So my greatest achievements is, oh, I know, is that I'm not fighting with Didi anymore and we're good and we're friends, well, very good friends again. Yeah. That's interesting that you, so you're very relationship driven. Yeah. Ne? Yeah, you're very relation, because (laughs) I I mean, you, you, you got good grades pretty much the whole year yeah um you started a youtube channel yeah you right like like you did a couple of things and the thing that comes to your mind is my relationship with my friend yeah that's dope but there's also like lots of other achievements but i just can't put them on my tongue for sure okay what would you say is your greatest disappointment it's like in term one on my cultural exam. Yeah, I wasn't very happy with my mark. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to say it because, like, comments and all that stuff. But yeah, <laughs> that was my greatest disappointment. Because I don't normally get, like, I'm not going to say that was a low mark because it wasn't low. Okay. It was something. It wasn't low, though. It wasn't low. Yeah. Definitely not. What would but you I, usually get? Let's say that. So I've never gotten under 70. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've never gotten under 70, but I got under 70 on my culture exam. Do you, do you feel like it was a fair mark? Yeah. Okay. So what do you think you did wrong? But like, I saw what I did wrong. And to be honest, I was like, but there's so tiny reasons. Like, yeah. I have gotten a way higher mark. For sure. Like it was because I didn't put that, but I didn't even see it because it was. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it it's okay. fine. <laughs> but that was in term one. My this term's marks are. For sure. Way better. Did you? Um, how long did it take you to forgive yourself? Wait, first of all, have you forgiven yourself for that mistake? Yeah, but I never really thought it was my fault in the first place. For sure. Because like. Did anybody else make that mistake? As in? The same mistake that you made. Yeah. So other people also made that mistake? No, only one. One other person made that mistake? Yeah. Okay. So like me and this other person. Yeah. Like we're disappointed with our marks. But yeah. like we're like, but it's not even my fault. I didn't even do okay. anything wrong. Sure. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's okay. Because it's, it's gone now. Like I like to get up though. Guys, how it goes through like... Changes to dishes like hip hop, hip hop dogo. All right, the last one. What's one area in which I can support you in the next six months? Which is a good question to ask now because we've just gone into the second half of the year. So, what is one area in which I can support you in the next six months? Area, as in like place or like no um so what part of your life do you think that i can better support you or support you in the next six months (laughs) um maybe like oh i know Mm. with my youtube channel with her youtube channel so um so for context we started lahakwa's youtube channel um a while ago on her birthday and uh 
schedules got crazy so i do the editing right so mm-hmm. schedules got crazy and it was just one thing after the other then then i'm on set then i'm editing this and now we're not releasing videos on time and whatever whatever so her channel has taken a little bit of a backseat and that is on me and for that i apologize it, it's um, okay because i understand well it's not really just let me just apologize please okay yeah. so <laughs> so and for that i apologize my baby um so so she's saying to me how I could better support her moving forward is in her YouTube channel. Um, making sure that we get that content out and I'll do better. All right, I promise. Okay, I want to ask one last question. I mm-hmm. just want to think for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your favorite thing about our relationship? Everything. How would you describe our relationship? I would describe it like good, like a very like funny, like we joke around a lot. Yeah. Um. Very like. I don't know how to explain it though. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice one though. What's okay? What's. What is the one thing you don't like about me? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. If there was one thing you're just like, oh, I wish Papa wouldn't do this. What would that be? Uh, there's legit nothing because I've never like thought about that or like, um. Chew. Nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. What What do you? Okay. Last question then. Mm-hmm. What do you hope that I never change. So what is the one thing that you're like, I hope... Your sense of humor and personality. Okay. Yeah. I like that. And I am. Yeah. All right, guys. That was a daddy-daughter Q&A that we had. You got any questions for me? E- no, but there's something to say. Okay. So, I know that you and Mama's last conversation about like the ring or something. Ne? Oh yes, the I ring conversation. I didn't actually watch it, ne? Yeah. But when Mama posted her story that you didn't wear your ring for three years, that was a little bit of a like <laughs> over exaggeration. It wasn't true. Because <laughs> Papa always wears his ring. I sometimes even ask him like he only take he only takes it off when he when he showers. I don't even take it off when I show Yeah, up, but. but like he legit wears it like all the time. Only when it's sick because like his characters are normally not married. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Love you. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dream team. This was Mr. Max. You know what it is. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on the... <laughs> Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on that. Wow! (laughs) Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, turn on that notification bell to know every single time we upload a new installment. It was so nice hanging out with you. You know what it is. Peace and blessings, people. You know what it is. One time, too real. Oh, Oh, yes. yes. Peace and blessings. We out. Bye. Thanks for hanging out with me. It was cool.